Okay, new day, yes it is. We're back, we're here at the gym already, and today is the day we're gonna go ahead and do uh, a little bit of a kind of a strength progression. Uh, just to say, it's max out day, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see where my strength is right now, sitting here around 217, um, and just kind of get a little gauge of my strength now and what it's gonna be at the end. So we're probably, won't be too intense of a workout, obviously, because we're maxing out, so we're gonna be pushing a whole lot more than that. But I wanna do, I want to do chest, upper chest, we're going to do incline bench, um, I want to do a deadlift, and then maybe do some overhead press, we'll see, we'll see, but those are the three things I really want to engage, want to kind of gauge, because those are kind of where my focus is, um, in terms of I want to get the shoulders, and I want to get the chest, and then obviously just my overall core strength, and just strength in general, and that'll come from a, from deadlift a little bit, so, those will be the big three we're going to try to push, and see, uh, how heavy we can uh, go today, what my uh, roughly three rep max looks like for uh, those three particular lifts. So let's do it. That's today. Today's the, today's the day, strength training. Let's see what we got, and then I'll go uh, chat with you guys uh, afterwards here. We'll see. We'll see. But that's the plan. Let's go uh, lift some uh, heavy weight. Well, again, heavy, heavy for me, light for you. We know. I know I max out with your warm-up. It's fine. I get it. I get it, well, let's go do it. Okay, first up, we're gonna do uh, incline bench. So, we're gonna start here, kind of warmed up a little bit, so we'll go ahead and try to hit a set of uh, 135, see how many of those we can get. And yeah, that's just gonna kind of be that. We're gonna start with 135, and just kind of slowly build up uh, until we get to about that three rep range and see what it looks like. So, first set going down. Okay, first set moved for six pretty well, so we'll bump up and uh, see how high we want to go. Okay, bench was done. Got up to 185 for three. Tried 205, failed. I'll show that here. It was unfortunate. I was trying. I was pushing, but I just didn't want to move. Again, I'm not a power lifter, so I know 185 for three. Nothing special. Nothing really that great there. But uh, now we're gonna jump into uh, deadlifts. Again, once again, I cannot stress enough. I'm not a power lifter, so my lifts like they're gonna be laughably bad for most people. Any power lifter is gonna laugh at it. But again, this is just kind of a strength gauge to see kind of where I'm at, and then what it's gonna look like here um, at the end of the cut, uh, closer to July. So. We're gonna jump into uh, 225. I'm just gonna kind of do three until I can't do three. Might even go down to two if I can't get that. Uh, and then I'm gonna probably throw in straps at some point. Um, I don't know where people stand on straps. They're pro straps, anti straps. I'm just gonna throw in the straps just because uh, my forearm uh, and grip strength not the most amazing in the world. And I have the straps here, so I figured I might as well use them just to get a guide. And then I'll use them both times. That way it's consistent at least. So. Uh, that'll be uh, once uh, the weight starts getting a little heavier, but we'll go ahead and do 225 for right now and then uh, just kind of keep moving and again until I can't get two or three reps. So let's deadlift. Okay guys, I uh, just got done with deadlifts. Uh, ended up doing one at 365. So 
Nothing special, nothing crazy. Again, guys, I am not Eddie Hall. I'm not Brian Shaw. I'm not Happy or Thornson. Did I say his name right? Did I say Thor's name right? Um, I'm not any of those guys. I am worlds and worlds below them. Like, I'm not even... Like, the most basic power lifter would destroy me. But uh, that's kind of, again, where I'm starting at. I do not have any form of power lifting background. I have the most basic... Uh, you know, deadlift, basically watching people deadlift and things like that throughout the years and just being in the gym and actually knowing about deadlifts, but I'm far from the perfect deadlift form or deadlift strength. They're consistently doing a deadlifting program. I just want to kind of come in here today and gauge my strength and kind of see where I'm at. And obviously nothing special, but at least now I know, okay, this is what it's at around, you know, 217. So when I come back in at 173, you know, in July, what are we working with? What does that look like? What is kind of the uh, strength I'm dealing with? So that's kind of what today was. I'm trying to see if I might go do, uh, depending on if it's open, I might go hammer out one quick set of shoulders and see if uh, that's available. See if I can get 135 up on overhead shoulder press um, for three reps, uh, maybe even go a little higher than that. And yeah, just kind of go from there. Um, and this was just a strength day. Again, my strength, as you can see, it's nothing special. Nothing sp Some are even laughing out there, but hey, stop it. Or continue, as long as you think I'm funny. But uh, so yeah, that's where we're at at this point. Uh, ended up 185 on incline for three, uh, failed at 205, um, and then did 365 on deadlift for one. So there we go, that's our baseline for strength. Uh, we'll see if I get uh, something else in. If not, you'll see me on uh, cardio next. What happens next? Let's find out. We had, wow, I, uh, my strength numbers were, they were incredibly mid. I can't acknowledge that, but that's okay. This isn't about uh, strength training. This is about trying to cut down and this is a mega, mega body weight loss challenge. So, or goal, whatever you want to call it, that's my focus. Um, again, like I said, I'm not a power lifter. I am no Eddie Hall. Half, half your Thornson and uh, Brian Shaw. Like, those guys are freaks. No, I'm not a base power lifter. But I want to get those gauges in. So uh, we got 365 again for deadlift and 185 three times for bench. Uh, should have had that 205 on the incline. I'm still kind of frustrated about that. But maybe we'll work up to that. Maybe we'll I'll have to kind of see where my training goes from here. But, uh, yeah, that was it. So now we kind of know what it looks like for uh, – Come 4th of July. I'm excited about that. Um, I've got some really awesome uh, comments, by the way. I just want to take this moment. Uh, thank you guys for all the great comments that um, you guys have been leaving. Um, some some of you guys have been talking about how like you were inspired to go on like kind of your own weight loss journeys or go do your own thing, which is... That is so cool. That is uh, so, so freaking cool to hear that. That um, The fact that if I could do this, you know, this was just like a kind of like a video like, you know, diary or vlog for me to just kind of put out there of like, hey, this is me doing it and kind of hold myself accountable. But then just kind of want to show you guys my journey of something I've uh, done a couple different times in my life. But, uh, you know, you know, if I could inspire someone, that's awesome. But the fact that uh, these videos have kind of resonated with a, a few of you to kind of do your own journey or, um, you know, kind of uh, follow along or watch it with me while you're trying to do yours, it is... Uh, that is freaking awesome. That is, that is cool. That is a really, really cool thing to hear that there are other people out there that are, you know, not because if I could do this and just inspire one person to, you know, go try to, um, achieve their own form of weight loss journey or whatever it is, that is so freaking cool. So to see some comments, if you guys are doing it, um, one thing I want to say though is again, everyone's journey is uh, their own. So, uh, whatever it is I'm doing, is great whatever you're doing is great there is the best journey is the one you go on so it's, it's so don't use someone else's um journey or someone else's end results to define what you're doing because what you're doing is awesome and amazing fan fantastic as well and sometimes i have to remind myself of that uh that seeing other people like ah oh, gosh that's where i want to be and it's awesome to have goals it's great to have an end goal but also to remember to um you know, show yourself a little bit of grace. Be gentle on yourself. I think that's kind of a hard part with this is when you see other people that have already been there. and They've been there for years and that's what you want to be or get to when you're not there. You're just in the midst of your own. Uh, it's hard. You know, I think that's one of those things where you kind of, 
you learn to uh, kind of fall in love with the process. The, the, the process loves you back kind of thing. The results kind of come. So do that. Please, please, you know, be, be patient with yourself. Be gracious with yourself. Um, whether you, And you don't have to do the extreme. I'm trying to do something extreme. 50 pounds by 4th of July. For some people out there, they may only need to lose 5 to 10 pounds. And that is awesome. Or if you feel like you do have more weight to lose, but you can only handle 5 pounds, then 5 pounds is great. 5 pounds is great. 2 pounds. Whatever it is that you're trying to do is great. So um, I think it's uh, this is just kind of fun and crazy for me to do because I enjoy kind of going on these extremes a little bit but again anytime you're going on your own journey that is awesome take it at your own pace um, be patient with yourself be nice on yourself be easy on yourself but push it and work your butt off and you will get there you will definitely get there I promise you you will get there there's nothing special about, I mean, it's awesome. It's awesome. Anyone that does a weight loss journey is great, but there's nothing special about anyone that does this, um, that they can do it and they can do it and you can't. Everyone absolutely can do this. It just comes down to consistently being kind to yourself, being patient to yourself and uh, being able to do you know, the right things with diet and exercise more often than not. And you will be able to get there. So uh, again, that was so awesome. Thank you for any kind words and anyone else that's doing out there. That's awesome. You are killing it. If no one else is telling you this or, you know, you're not maybe necessarily filming it yourself. Keep pushing, keep working hard. Uh, that, that's all I can say is basically keep at it, keep at it every single day and you will get there. It won't always be easy. There's going to become times where you're going to maybe feel stuck a few places. I will get there. Um, I've kind of been there. That's why I'm kind of using this week to really push through and drive the weight down a little bit. Um, but don't think you necessarily have to go to the extremes of every single thing. You'll get there. Keep pushing through. Be consistent. You'll hit those plateaus. You might get stuck. But trust what you're doing. And then if you still are, then make adjustments afterwards. But just... Allow yourself uh, the freedom to do this, but not let it overtake you in a way that just makes you more frustrated than you're actually enjoying this. So that's what I can say. That's what uh, that's my advice um, for anyone out there doing their own weight loss journey. That is so cool. Um, thank you so much again for any of the uh, the kind words and good on you. Good on you, anyone out there that's also uh, taking uh, on a little bit of a challenge or. Uh, you know, a physique change of your own. That is awesome. Go out there. You're going to kill it. You're going to do awesome. And it's going to be great. So, uh, that's kind of going to be the end of this video. Uh, we got, we kind of have our strength now. So we're going to kind of know what we're dealing with strength wise and see what that looks like come 4th of July. So, uh, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Uh, again, thank you guys so much. I didn't know I didn't do as much food stuff. Next one will. Next one will. We'll do more. Uh, show you a few more things, what I'm eating and diet and stuff like that. And kind of talk about maybe days I don't really eat as much, uh, why that is, or kind of where my thoughts on that are kind of thing. Especially if you're coming off, um, you know, a bigger food day or something like that. Uh, kind of why I eat the way I do. So that'd be probably something I'll talk about in the next uh, couple videos uh, for sure. But I just want to really take that moment to say thank you to every single person that's watching these, that's commented. Thank you guys so much. And again, if you're doing your own journey, keep it up, get after it. You're going to get there. We're all going to get there and it's going to be awesome. We're in this together. So thank you guys so much. See you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.